Web filtering in ESET is enabled and running in the background. It actually monitors the port, uh, port 80, any, any port that you specify. So when traffic comes through the browser, it actually inspects it. And if there's anything infected with in that stream, it will stop it. So it doesn't have the nice graphic like ABG, for example, that has when you go to Google, type in a, a search query, it doesn't have the nice little graphic that says, oh, this site is clean or anything like that. Um, but inside ESET itself, it does have the settings under the web access protection that is enabled by default. All of these items in the business edition um, can be set from a central location with the remote administration server, um, and it's all policy based, so you can change the policy, push it out to all the clients, and it would be done so you don't have to go to each workstation. So in, for example, if you wanted it to look at 80, these are the defaults here. If you wanted to add another port, let's say that you knew somebody was running on a, a special port like uh, 8181, you could add it in here and you could save it and then you could push this out, the new policy out to all your clients. You could also, there's a web management um, where you can actually just come in here and actually manage websites yourself like you have a list of addresses that are excluded from filtering that you know if you ever wanted you can put your own website in there so it's never filtered never looked at and then you can also have your own custom list of block sites that you wanted I have two in here right now um, I added Facebook and MSN and it's as simple as just looking in here we could add MySpace and now MySpace is going to be blocked in essence. So what happens is when someone tries to go there in the browser, it comes up basically and says the site is blocked. So they don't get a web page, they don't get anything except this message here. Which you can have this message come up or not come up. Probably for the users and to cut down on support calls this would be the better way to do it so when they see this they know that the site is basically just filtered out not allowed so it, 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 it it's pretty strong um, you can also come in here and tell it what you use for web browsing so if you had Firefox on here right now on this machine I just have Internet Explorer that's checked um, and it, as far as all the newer browsers they all have the safe surfing um, like here in IE it has a smart screen filter which basically I think is very similar if not the same databases that Firefox and like ABG would use for the little check mark um, so basically you have this enabled I'm running IE8 here this is going to also this is going to check all the sites that you go to so we're going to go to a site that is a test site put out by Mozilla the guys who make Firefox um, and this is basically a test site. So this is what happens if you go to a site that is either a reported phishing site or a you know a virus infest infected site. You're going to get this message. So it's basically not going to give it to them. Um, with these tools in the newer browsers and with this granular control that you can get in here um, with ESET, I think I think you're you're, you're pretty safe. Um, as far as a solution for checking your streams of data in the web. Here I'm going to try to intentionally infect this virtual machine that I'm running here um, to see how ESET detects and reports that uh, you're going to a bad site in your browser. So Google, when I punch in, we're going to look for the Antivirus Live 2010 um, and Google when you punch that in it basically doesn't give me what I'm looking for so I go to Yahoo punch it in and the very first option is a very dangerous site which is the antivirus live 2010 site um, so us not knowing any better we're going to go ahead and click on it and here's ESET web filter in action it pops up with the error here notification and also in the browser window it says access denied uh, basically saying you're trying to get to a potentially dangerous site so this is how it works so anytime it detects that from a list 
it will display this on the screen to the user.